everybody and welcome to Monday. This is Cheat Meal Monday. How can you serve eight people for under five dollars? I hope you stay tuned to find out because we're going to make a meal that my mama taught me to make many years ago. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. Today eight of my family members are coming over for a meal. So I had to come up with something really quick something that I have here in the homestead, and something that's going to be very frugal. How can I feed eight people for five dollars and under? Well, let me show you. I know not everybody has a garden, and I know not everybody could get food back when it was a lot cheaper. But this is how I am able to serve people for very little money, because I have a pantry that is full. All summer long, I went and I looked for food that was going to be cheap on sale. And I stocked up on that, and now I'm glad I did. We are going to make ham, potatoes, and green beans. This is something my mama made for many, many years. And it's something really quick, and it's something very nutritious as well. So today, we're going to use some beef broth that I got for 99 cents. We have green beans from the garden potatoes that I got free and if you watched my method on how to store them you can store them for many many months these potatoes right now are been stored about five months and I got one ham steak for two dollars and twenty nine cents this one ham steak we're going to stretch it to feed eight people so let's get started on our meal I wash my potatoes I wanted to show you that your potatoes don't have to be perfect in fact some of them are starting to form sprouts. These potatoes are fine. All we have to do is scrub them real good and then we can cut them up and use them. You can also take these potatoes and you can plant them in your garden to produce a lot more. But you know what, when potatoes start to sprout, they're still fine. There's still a lot of good nutrients in there. As you can see, this one has a little green. So we want to always make sure we peel away the green. Don't ever feed your family green potatoes because that can become poisonous if eaten too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash these potatoes and get these potatoes ready. Basically, we throw everything into the crock pot. Potatoes are a starch and when you wanna work with a low income or you wanna work with something that doesn't cost a whole lot, potatoes will help feed your bellies and help feed your families and it's relatively very cheap. So here we have all of our potatoes quartered and we're gonna add the potatoes to the bottom because Potatoes is going to take the longest to cook. Now I'm going to make the potatoes just a little bit smaller because my grandchildren are going to be here eating as well. A lot of times children don't like having foods cut really big, so we cut them a little smaller when we have the grandchildren here. Right, so as you see I have the casserole pretty full with these potatoes. Now we're going to go ahead and take frozen green beans. These came from my garden, and we're going to layer them on top. Now, as the food cooks, it's going to really cook down. I don't think I'm going to need these because the casserole is getting really, really full. So here is our ham steak for $2.29. What I always tell you is, is meat is a luxury, so we don't base our meals on the meat. And I'm going to take a pizza cutter, which helps you cut the meat so easy in uniform pieces. And once again, we're going to cut this meat in smaller pieces because of the grandchildren. All right, some of these pieces are just a little bit big yet. We're gonna go ahead, make them a little smaller. And now, all we do is we're gonna put them on top because this ham was pre-cooked. You still wanna cook it really good, but it is pre-cooked. Now, a lot of people don't eat pork, then you could have this as a vegetarian dish. And you could just have it with potatoes and you can have it with some green beans. Now I am going to add some beef broth as well. So this will take about 
five hours on high. So it's really, I got to really get this worked on because they're going to be here. Today is chore day. So the grandchildren always like helping me with chores. And being that they don't have any school these days, it's good to get them here on the homestead and get them doing some work. It helps teach them about a different way of living and they really enjoy it. And I enjoy teaching it to them. So you see I have this very, very full because of all the people that are coming. Let me go ahead and wash my hands and then we'll put the beef broth and then we'll be done. I'm so glad I got a bunch of this beef broth for 99 cents. Ahead, we're going to pour it on top. Now we want to add pretty much liquid to it. Now the green beans will add liquid because they were frozen. All right, that should be good, and I'll add more if I need it. And of course, I'll show you through the cooking of it. Fanny's diary. Today we're on April the 6th, 1943. And Fanny writes, Today we did a lot of planting in the garden. Five pounds of Thomas Lehorn peas. Three pounds of Little Marvel. It's a beautiful day and the wind is slightly blowing. Tomorrow I need to house clean the kitchen and wax the floor. It's such a busy time of the year for me. Hi everybody, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and give me that thumbs up. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Hey everybody, wait a second. If you like videos about my daily life and you like to see how do I do things here on the homestead, take a look at all these videos below. It's three years worth of beautiful videos that I get to share with you my life and my dreams for the future. Take care everyone!